What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be working on a 25 quart Igloo Marine cooler. And we're gonna be mounting rod holders to that as well as a flag mount. Um, I do happen to have a piece of starboard here. Uh, it is three quarter inch and I have enough to do two coolers. I do have two of these to build. Uh, so um, let's get to it, man. Now that we have these cut, time to bust out with the Noga. Look at that finish. Beautiful. No sharp edges. It's perfect. And we just finish all these up. So one of the things that I've done is I've actually created these here. Um, this is actually the bottom one because the flag post is tapered so that it kind of sit in that hole and any water that gets in there will drain out. I did run these on a router. Um, I'll put a series of photos at the end of the video. Uh, not something I could really video by myself uh, while I'm doing it, so. All right, so I did opt to um, hold these on with four quarter 20 bolts. The top one is going to be two inches, uh, being this one. These two are gonna be two inches. These are gonna be two and a half inch, quarter 20 pan head. And here are my measurements. One inch, 17 inches overall. And rods, uh, the rod holders are five inches apart. So you're at one inch, three and a half for the mounts, six inches, eight and a half, whoops, shit, moved it. Eight and a half for your center, rod post or your flagpole post 11 inches for the third rod holder 13 and a half for your mounting bolts and 16 inches for your last rod holder so here we have the finished product nice sits in there nice and snug not going to come out uh I did use, I did actually go to the store and I picked up some uh, one inch screws. Uh, so I didn't have to grind anything off the backside. These are quarter 20s. The top ones being two inch. They fit perfect with a fender washer. The bottom ones at two and a half inch, I can't get two and a quarter. So I had to actually put a little bit of spacers on them or not spacers, but uh, basically receding size washers, uh, works good, but the acorn nuts stop, uh, actually I've had cans popped because the last cooler I had, I had nylock nuts and they actually hit the threads and would pop. They would blow my cans apart, rocking around in there. But, um, so on the backside of each washer, we have a little bit of Loctite Marine Fast Cure. Uh, that ensures that no water gets into the foam of the cooler itself. Oh, come on. 
The only thing I don't like about this cooler is it doesn't have a drain. I was debating, contemplating drilling a hole in it. But uh, I'll tell you what, these Igloo coolers, the little marine coolers are, it's almost like they were made for kayaks. I mean, they, they fit so perfect. And, uh, but that's a pretty sturdy mount, flag mount, four rod holders. So let's go mount this on the kayak and see how it fits. One other thing you'll probably need to get is a stainless steel turnbuckle. These actually sit in here. These pad eyes are what hold my cooler in place and then ratchet it down on those. So let's get this up here. Look at that. I mean, that's usually where it sits, right on that edge. I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't go anywhere as it is, but with the rod holders on it, it could rock up or backward. So that being said, these turnbuckles go on here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to see what I was doing. But basically, oh man, it's cold. So my hands aren't working as they supposed to. But uh, let me come over here to the other one. Um, and they don't have to be tight. You, these handles here kind of, I don't want to say cheesy, but I don't want to put too much pressure on them. Like I said, you're just trying to stop the rods from rocking back and forth. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, like I said, the only downside to this is it does not have a drain, but they do fit perfect. So that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, whichever you prefer. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.